The objective of this lesson is to use base 10 blocks to model, compare, and interpret expressions. In previous lessons, students have practiced creating and evaluating expressions using the order of operations. They have also used base 10 blocks along with the box line dot drawing method to represent expressions and equations. There are many ways to organize the models and drawings for each expression. Let's start with our first problem. 16 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 and 16 divided by 4 multiplied by 6 will be our two expressions we will be comparing. Both equations have the same division operation of 16 divided by 4. This operation will be completed first in both expressions because they are in parentheses. Start by modeling the 16 divided by 4. Place 16 cubes and divide them into four groups. Each group contains four cubes. The first expression multiplies the 16 divided by 4 by 2. Place another row of four cubes above the first row. The second expression multiplies the 16 divided by 4 by 6. Place five more rows or groups of four above the first row for a total of six rows. Both expressions begin by dividing 16 by 4, and both expressions have at least one group of two rows of four. The second expression has three times as many units as the first expression. This is because when a quantity is multiplied by six, it is three times as many as the same quantity multiplied by two. Now let's visually represent these same expressions using the box line dot method. 16 divided by four multiplied by two and 16 divided by four multiplied by six. Both expressions will begin by dividing 16 by four. Place 16 dots below each expression in rows of four. Next, keep only one row of four. The first expression needs to have two rows of four, and the second expression needs to have six rows of four. The second expression has three times as many units as the first expression. Let's compare another set of expressions using the place value blocks. 3 times 2 multiplied by 2, and 3 times 2 plus 2. Start with the first expression. Place three rows of two cubes in each row to show 3 times 2. Then double it to show it has multiplied by 2. Now model the second expression. Place three rows of two cubes in each row to show 3 times 2. Then place two more cubes to show the plus 2. Both expressions start with 3 times 2, or 3 rows of 2 cubes. However, the first expression doubles the 3 rows of 2, and the second expression just adds 2 more cubes. The objective of this lesson was to use base 10 blocks to model, compare, and interpret expressions. And we met this objective by using base 10 blocks and the box line dot method to visually evaluate, compare, and contrast pairs of expressions.